Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at solar energy. What is solar energy? Solar energy is renewable energy we get which is derived directly from solar output. There are a number of ways that we can use solar energy and these examples that we're going to look at include passive solar design, active solar heating and the use of photovoltaic cells. First we'll look at passive solar design. The construction of buildings is changed to make the most of the sun's light. As a result, we're going to be using the sun's energy to heat up the house without having to then use other types of energy. This allows more light and more heat to enter the house and less electricity and heating is going to be used. For example, conservatories. What we have here is the sun moving into the house, which then reflects a lot of the light on the inside, so we don't have to rely as much on electricity. Next, we're going to look at active solar heating. This uses the sun's energy to heat pipes which contain water. This way no heat from the natural gas has to be used and we can just use the sun to do it. So here we have our black back and we have uh, pipes which travel along this matte surface which are then going to be taking in the sun's rays. The sun's rays are going to be heating up the water which is then getting all the heat radiated from this back. And then we put up a glass case to make sure that um, the water inside is being well heated cold water moves into the pipes and then it heats out, we use it as hot water in our homes. Now we'll look at photovoltaic cells. These are small panels that contain silicon. The technology in these cells converts the light from the sun that we get into electricity. You don't have to know exactly how it happens at AS level, you just have to know that the silicon does this. So what we have is this panel that contains a lot of these silicon chips as the sun heats it up. The silicon chips then are going to convert all of the energy it gets from the light into electricity which we can use in our house. The advantages and disadvantages of solar energy. These are the pros and cons of using solar energy. Pros are obviously in examples such as the fact that no waste is produced, there are very low running costs and it can generate electricity in remote areas. If we're going to set up a solar panel in perhaps a village far away from a big city, it's going to be able to produce electricity on its own for that house. So as a result, it works in remote areas. It's also sustainable and it can be used directly when it's obtained. There's no need for transmission costs. So for example, let's say we keep with the example of setting up a solar panel in a home far away from the big city. Since we're not going to be generating the electricity close to the city, we're not going to have to travel it through all a series of wires and pipes for it to get there. So as a result, there are low transmission costs. However, the disadvantages are that it is not always sunny. The photovoltaic cells are generally expensive to buy if you're going to be using that type of solar energy, and it's not visually pleasing, which is a pretty weak disadvantage in my opinion, but nevertheless, you can still mention it. Here are some questions on solar energy. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and then press play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on bioenergy. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.